I love Christmas time with my family, and I really love when my parents come visit us from California. Every Christmas Eve, we go to church, and my kids perform in the choir. And this year, they were all a part of the impromptu Christmas pageant. Since there was no rehearsal, and also there are two, four, six, and eight, you never knew what they were going to do. Quinn doesn't really like to follow directions. Scouty and Lucy sang in the choir, and then at the end, there was a candle lighting portion of the service where the adults had real candles and the kids had fake ones. Afterwards, we went to sushi for dinner, and then we came home and tracked Santa on our Alexa. Then some Christmas magic happened overnight. And in the morning, everyone woke up. We measured to see how tall they had grown since summertime. We had a delicious breakfast, and then everyone came out to see the tree. We make them wait until everyone gets there, so we shut all the doors and don't let them see the presents. There were a lot of beautiful gifts this year. And James absolutely loves his vintage train set. Everyone loves the little pony cycle. We got some very nice books and toys to play with all year long. We spent all morning opening presents, and then we revealed the big gift that came from both grandparents and parents. We all pooled our money together to get the girls. And eventually, my son and the baby will be able to drive them. But we got two go-karts. They were so surprised and so excited to see them. A little confused over what they were. They thought we bought them lawnmowers and that would have been brilliant. But then we all went outside to take a big drive around the yard. We spent the morning zipping back and forth across the front yard and all around the yard. We thought this was the perfect thing to get the kids because they're starting to outgrow the power wheels and the little kids still like it, but the big girls aren't really able to ride in them anymore. And we have about an acre and a half just inside Indy, so we thought this was the perfect gift for them. We spent some time teaching them some safety things and we still have more to work on as far as that goes, but the adults really wanted a turn. Quinny finally got to have her Razor scooter, which she was so excited about, and it was really hard to get her off of the scooter all day. Scout got a Hatchimal. This is the first Hatchimal we've had in our family and it was really cool. I didn't know what to expect, but it really was as cool as the kids think it is. And that was our beautiful Christmas. Now everybody's tuckered out and getting tucked into bed. I hope you had a Merry Christmas with your family as well. 